With the agricultural industry in somewhat of a holding pattern for broad use of unmanned aerial vehicles, the Federal Aviation Administration this week finalized its much-anticipated rule for commercial use of small unmanned drones. The new regulations are set to take effect in late August and provide more detailed and, in some cases, less restrictive requirements for flying UAVs. One of the biggest changes is that commercial operators will no longer need a pilot's license and instead be required to pass an aeronautics test every two years for a certificate. However, people or companies offering drone for hire services will need to pass a written test administered by the Transportation Security Administration. While smaller drone models have become popular options for scouting crops or grain bins, the new FAA rules will allow for commercial use of UAVs weighing up to 55 pounds, which have to be flown in daylight hours at elevations of 400 feet or lower. Privacy and data collection policies are elements that dealers and companies offering drone-based services will still need to consider, according to attorney Jamie Nafziger, chair of the Cybersecurity, Privacy, and Social Media Practice Group at Minneapolis-based Dorsey & Whitney. But she also anticipates that the new FAA rule will clear the air for increased use of UAVs as valuable tools in agriculture. I think it's really opening the door for huge growth in this area. I, d I don't have a lot of concern about how they're going to be applied. I think they're pretty clear and they even open the door for people to get waivers of many of the restrictions that still exist if they want to. While some dealers have had success selling UAV systems and related services, others have scaled back on promoting the systems during the down ag market. Once the regulations take effect, it will be interesting to see if dealers alter their approach.